It's about time, man. I've been waiting for something new and fresh and exciting to take the gaming world by storm, and uh, it looks like Escape from Tarkov is doing just that. So what's up, guys, and welcome to episode one of my EFT Let's Play. This is my first time ever loading up the game. As you can see, we've got our little, like, intro script here, and uh, we're just, we're gonna hop into it, dude. Let's, uh, let's do that. Looks like our nickname is too short. I can't have T. Martin 2? Is that what you're telling me? Oh no, I can't have T. Martin 2. Nice. Alright, so, um, do we want to be a, a bear or an Usek? Um, Usek looks pretty cool here. Yeah, I've never played this game before. I've seen it on stream and a couple of YouTube videos just in passing, never really paying too much attention. This morning I woke up and I watched a 40 minute beginner's tutorial by Geekse, which was, uh, was pretty good. So thank you to him. Uh, there is no, like, actual tutorial in this game or anything, so it's, uh, I, I don't know. We're gonna be dropping in here, and there's, there's a lot to unpack. Holy cow. Look, look at our stash. Look at our, our items. This is insane. So the first thing that his tutorial told me to do was go through my inventory as well as all of the traders in the game and just kind of uncover all of the items and, and discover them and... I don't even really know what we're doing here, but you guys can see down in the bottom right, we are getting experience for it. Is that a Snickers bar? Are you? It's called Slickers though. I didn't know that was a thing in this game, but yeah, as you guys can see, there are eight people that you can end up trading with, some of the loot that you get in the game and stuff like that, and you just go through and you middle mouse click each one of these things to uh, to discover them, and I, I don't really know what the point of that is, but like I said, we are getting XP, so we're just gonna go through and we're gonna make sure that uh, that we do all of this. So once we're done with that, we're gonna head into our character, we're gonna get ready for our first game. So if you guys don't know, which I'm sure most of you do, but this is just like a very intense, very hardcore, go into a map and you're, you're in this raid where like, if you die, you lose everything that's not in your pouch here. And uh, you know, anything you find, you get to keep if you make it to the extraction. But again, if you die, you lose everything. So for our first game, I don't really trust myself with anything good. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move all of our weapons and all of our important stuff out. So we're gonna move our ammo out. We're gonna move this backpack out. I think we could keep the container since whatever we have in that, we end up keeping. I'm gonna move this out. I'm gonna move our, our little, little rig here out and uh, bam, I think uh, I think we're good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take one of these pistols. I'm gonna say this, this P226R. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy. We're gonna put that in there. It's got 15 bullets in it. Let me see what kind of bullets do we need. We need nine by 19 P226. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's, let's reload this guy. And we need nine by 19 P226. So I'm gonna say let's throw Let's throw an extra, an extra mag in our pocket. Are we really gonna need any more than that? I don't think we're gonna need any more than that. I guess we could throw a couple of extra mags in our pouch, cause you get to keep, again, whatever you have in there. Can we put this in there? No, we can't put that in there. Um, what else are we gonna need? I mean, there's there's some, some healing items. So we could throw a healing item in there. We could throw a splint in there. We actually, you know what, we probably, let's, let's put this stuff back. We wanna leave this open for us to be able to pick stuff up. So I, I think we're good. I, I think we're just gonna hop in with the pistol and nothing else. So we can't be a scav right now that's locked for the next 12 minutes. It's kind of cool because when you play as a scav, you go in with like auto-generated equipment and, and weapons and stuff like that because you're technically an, uh, an NPC character in a sense. And that way you can't lose anything, but you can still keep the stuff you earn. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But so you guys can see it's currently locked for us. So we're gonna go in as a PMC and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna go to uh, to customs and uh, we're gonna see what we can do. Let's go ahead and go forward. We don't have a map equipped, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. We do have an offline mode if we want it. So that's kind of like a practice mode. You aren't gonna have any other live players in there. And I, I think you get to just keep everything that you have and just kind of try things out and not worry about losing it. But that doesn't sound as much fun. So we're, we're just gonna hop in by ourselves without any, any you know, heads up, without any plan. Oh shoot, dude, I'm playing at night. Are you, oh no, you're kidding me. One of the things in the tutorial said to never, oh, there's gunfights going down already. It said to never spawn in at night, especially when you're a beginner, because it's really hard to see. And then I can already tell, okay, yeah, this, this sucks. This is, 
This is gonna be really hard hard for you guys to see as well. Are you kidding me right now? Bro, nice G-Wagon. I like it. Bro, this is terrifying. Is that a sniper? Or is that just a light? Bro, where's that coming from? I definitely heard somebody or something. I'm gonna get up in this bus, dude. I'm, I'm camping it out. 100%. There's somebody like right over here. I'm gonna push this way. So if we hit, oh, you guys can see up at the top right. We've got 46 minutes left in this raid. At the end of the raid, if you haven't left via an extraction point, which I think there's four extraction points, then, uh, then you die. The game's over and you lost. Bro, that is so close. I'm so scared. to get to this bush. How do you open up doors? Bro, 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 bro. Is he dead? That's my kill. Let's go. I don't know if that was a scab or another player or what. What do we have here? Oh, Jesus. What? How do I search? Okay, the top post on Reddit said F. Let's try F. Ah, let's go. Looks like he had a face cover and... Some sort of body armor. I'm gonna throw that body armor on. Okay. All right, we're, we're working with this fellas We've got some body armor now. We just need to, to figure out how the heck to get out of here We need to get into a daytime lobby, dude This is the, the nighttime especially when you don't know the map is kind of lame. All right, so I got a map pulled up I actually I, th I think I might kind of know where we need to go. We came the wrong way down the bridge. I'm pretty sure. I think we're gonna go to the other side of this bridge, and then if we go straight for a while, we're gonna get to Crossroads. If you get to Crossroads, that's where you're always gonna be able to exfil on this map. There's like four exfil points, but uh, Crossroads is, is always a constant one. Oh. I can see the nighttime being fun, especially when you kind of know what you're doing and you maybe have a couple of teammates with you and you don't necessarily have to just crouch walk everywhere because you're Nervous and have no clue where these scabs are gonna spawn and anything else that's going on, but I'm looking forward to getting over to uh, Over to the daytime make it a run for it boys Exfil me daddy Is this not it exfil me daddy How do I exfil this is just the, the struggles of a new player So I've, I've figured out that you can double tap O to be able to see which extraction points are available and uh, oh Jesus ah! No, you don't I can't see you in that dang bush, bro. I'm hurt I'm hurt. No, I died dude. What the fudge? I ran, I was close to one of the exfil points is what I was about to tell you guys. And I ran all the way across the map to an exfil point that can sometimes be there, but was not actually there in that game. Let's try the offline mode so we can use an actual weapon. We can be a little bit more aggressive and we can try to learn the map a little bit. All right, your boy is about to, uh, about to, to bust a cap in some scabby boys. Here we go, fellas. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. So this is, like I said, it's, I, I don't think there's going to be any other actual human players, which are obviously our biggest threat. That's not to say that we won't be able to die to scabs, because, I mean, we definitely did in the first one. Oh, is this an exfil point right here? This kind of looks like an exfil point. That's an exfil point. Shoot. Would have been nice to find that in the last games. To be honest, I'm, I'm not really sure... What the best way to to play this game is like I, I don't know what speed I should be playing at. I don't know if I was running around too much in that last one. I mean obviously I have no clue where I'm going, so that doesn't that doesn't help me at all. We also gotta learn the, the places to get loot. I think it kind of randomly spawns, but you also obviously know like the high loot areas. It's like Fortnite or something like that. Any other battle royale where you kind of know where to look, or more often than not, you're going to be able to find something. And we, I mean, we haven't even been able to use anything but a pistol yet, so that has not been very fun. Ooh, see, like, what's, can I search this? Hello, beautiful. Nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw these in my, my pouch. I'm not sure if we actually get to keep the stuff from this from offline mode or not, but I guess we'll see what happens. Is he alive? 
Bro, what the heck? He's got a hard drive? I'll take that. That sounds kind of interesting. I don't know what of what of these other things we need, but I guess we'll we'll grab everything for now. All right. Found somebody. Did we put him down? Hold on a second. I have no clue how to tell if he's dead or not. Gotta be careful, make sure there's nobody else. He's dead, let's go. He's got a face cover, like a, a Jason Voorhees face cover. All right, let me switch to this Adar. Oh, baby, let's go, okay. I'm gonna push up this side, I think. See what we can do. See, like this when you kinda know what you're doing and you're not getting your, you're not getting tickled, I guess. Jeez. Woo, got him. When you're not getting tickled, it makes things a little bit more fun. Did this guy not have, hold on, how do you, how do you check ammo? I think it's Alt-T. About half. About half left in the mag. Alright, so we got some time. Bro, what in the world is going on? This is sick! I'm playing bots right now. Don't think it's more than it is. You know what I mean? But at least this is getting us kind of like a, a bit of an intro to this game. Oh, he's got a sniper rifle. I'm, I'm gonna throw that over here. So let's delete this. Put this in here. Oh, we gotta examine it first. He's got a sniper. Bro, what? Let's go. Oh, that doesn't zoom in nearly as much as I thought it was going to. Got him. Let's go, dude. This was like a, a boss base or something. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many of them over here. Okay. Did we get him? Yeah, he's down over there. I want to make sure we can get back, though. I think we might be able to. All right, I'm going to hop over here. Hopefully, this doesn't hurt us too bad. I'm going to try to get out of here. I'm not sure if we're going to keep this stuff, but I'm going. I'm gone. Can we search these things? The back of a car? Trunk of a car? Hello, beautiful. I think... Pretty sure... This is our exit. Can we get out of here? No. It just looks like an exit, but it's not actually an exit. I saw him. Oh, we're out of ammo. I think we might be totally out of ammo. Yeah, we're, we're not looking good in this department. Got him! With the one tap, let's go, baby. I'm gonna go try to pick up his weapon and then we're, we're, we're gonna try to hightail it out of here. I'm gonna delete this sniper because he had a sniper. Let's search for this. We're gonna go ahead and equip this. All right. Not bad. We've got this guy now. See, this this is the type of sniper that I actually want to use. All right, so we're going to try to get out of here. If you check our extraction points, Crossroads actually is an extraction now. And I do kind of know where that is. So I think that's where we're going to head. Oh, hello. 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 I don't know if you have to judge for, for bullet drop or time or anything. That seemed like a pretty good shot to me. Let's go. Whoo. Hopefully he had something. I'm going to swap back to our pistol. This is actually really a lot of fun. Like, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. No. No. Where? Right in front of you, Trev. Holy cow. Oh, we're going to end up dying. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. 100% gonna die. Okay, he's got an AK. We can at least pick this up. We need somebody to have some healing items. Dude, I'm not I'm not gonna be able to get back. This guy's got some body armor so we can throw this on. Please tell me you have any sort of heals, dude. Nope, of course not. No heals. Do we have anything? Can I like duct... I was gonna say, can I duct tape myself? But no, you cannot. So there you guys have it. That was our first attempt at, at Escape from Tarkov. I mean, we did get a kill on our very first time out in the dark, which was kind of exciting. It was somebody walking by us that didn't know we were there, and I'm pretty sure it was a, a, a computer-controlled thing. You know, not, not a real human, but uh, still a lot of fun. Um, you've lost all the items you've received or found during the raid. Insured items can be recovered. Okay. So can you actually keep that stuff then? 
Let me know down in the comments if you can keep the stuff you get from offline modes. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys later. If you guys wanna see more Escape from Tarkov, it's something we're obviously gonna have to build on, we're gonna have to get better at, I'm gonna have to learn, but uh, I think it could be a ton of fun. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.